What about esports, Loris? Is it something that you watch? Do you think you could take him on a PS4? No, nah, honestly, I didn't yeah. even watch the races. As Fabio said, I think it makes the thing even harder because you think about this. And uh, yeah, the only virtual thing I've done is cycling. Uh, it, it helps to to make it less boring. But yeah, I didn't even play uh, the, play the PlayStation uh, on so, on uh, on MotoGP because uh, yeah, it makes uh, it make it even harder. Like you say, guys, it looks like there's a bit of light at the end of the tunnel coming. Dorna uh, are quite confident that they'll be racing in MotoGP and in WSBK by the end of July, around August time. Are you guys both more optimistic about the prospects of racing in a couple of months' time now? Mm, well, honestly, uh, I really wish that uh, July will be the first races because... Uh, you know, I don't understand nothing about, you know, uh, coronavirus, but looks like is um, is a big virus. But let's see, uh, we have been in quarantine for a long time, all in Europe, all in the world. So let's see if there is no second wave. I'm praying for it. And uh, of course, if it's getting better, we will have races. And uh, I know that Dorna is uh, doing a great job. And for sure, um, if the condition can permit us to race, we will have races. And Loris, what about yourself? What do you think about the prospects of having some racing possibly in a two or three months' time? Yeah, I think we are not the worst um, sport, you know, because the, a lot of sports have the end of season, like in, in June. And uh, we, we, I think we can race until December. You know, we are lucky that uh, our season can go really long in, in, in the year. So, I'm sure we will have at the end uh, a championship. We will have uh, champions, and uh, for sure we will not. Have, I, I don't think we can make the the 13 races of our championship and the GP the 19. But I think if we can make seven races for us and uh, at least 10 for the GP, it will uh, be at the end of season. We will say we are, we have a great season, great champion. It will be real champion, and uh, yeah, uh, we just have to be. Yeah, passion. And this is, uh, I think, the hardest for a rider. Yeah. But, um, yeah, uh, from the beginning, I say we are not the worst because, like, football or even cycling, it's really tough for them because they, they need to be on the higher of the performance, like 100%, to win a tour, for example. But they will not be for sure, and we will have 2-2 two -two at the same time. So, for them, it's really hard, really hard. Fabio, unfortunately, I'm too old to remember what it was like to be 21, but I, I'd imagine two two months feels like two years right now, that the time just going so slowly. But going back to the start of the season or, or March, you, you look so strong in pre-season testing. Everybody was saying that 2020 was going to be Marquez versus Quattararo. This was going to be the story of the championship. So going into the season, what were your feelings about how 2020 might pan out in normal circumstances? Yes, uh, first of all, uh, it's good that uh, I had one year experience because honestly, from the first test, I changed, I think, all of, uh, let's say, the way of working. In uh, last year, in every practice, I wanted to finish first. If not, I was not happy. And uh, at the end, the most important is to finish first in Sunday. And uh, we didn't do it in 19, 2019. And during the test in Qatar, uh, I didn't make a real-time attack because I make my fastest lap with five laps on the tire. We make a really fast um, race pace with 154 that I was never expecting that. But we work on the pace and we make a big improvement. And uh, for sure, we still have the positive point of new tire. And I know that I can be one fast in one lap. Loris, from the outside, I, mean, I know you two guys get on pretty well with each other. You've known each other for a long time. What were you thinking about Fabio's prospects this year? Did you expect him to be battling for the championship and winning races for Petronas Yamaha SRT? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, with the season he done last year and the talent he has and the work is the dedication he's putting in, I think he has everything uh, like more and more under control. He learn a lot of things every races. So yeah, I was expect. I'm expecting him to on the podium. Uh, Every time I, I, I see the I see a race now, so I don't like to talk about uh, yeah if I can see him champion or thing like that because the championship is 
just taking it race by race and then at the end you, you see what you can do. But yeah, for sure you can win, you can do, be on the podium every race and win races soon. So at the end, if you do it, you are a contender for the championship. So yeah, he, he is, but he, he don't need to have any pressure at all. That's the most important. He have a long, he have a lot of time to, to achieve his goal. He's still in the private team. He have a, a like, um, like a factory team coming. So everything is, uh, is okay. You just have to, to take the time, be passionate and everything will come. And what about yourself, Lois? Because it looked like you had a great winter program. You looked really, really strong and competitive in that first race in Phillip Island. You must have backed yourself with the, the R1 and the team to be fighting for wins and podiums yourself on a regular basis in World SBK this year. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I feel stronger than uh, than ever, like stronger than I've never been. Uh, and then with a strong package, a strong bike, a strong team behind me, Support from Yamaha. Even if we are private team, we have a good support from Yamaha. But Tank Eight is able to develop their own thing also. So this is really important. Um, unfortunately, it's a sport where you cannot perform if you don't have the bike and the team and all the package. And it's been yeah really complicated. Coming back to Superbike to 2018 was I think the hardest season of my life. And um, a lot of people were asking me if I why I was struggling to to take back the pace in Superbike. Uh, but, um, yeah, we just didn't have the package to do it and nobody knew it because I was only riding this bike. So that's why I decided to not ride last year and wait for a good bike, a good team. And, yeah, I found it with 10K, so I'm really happy. Um, even last year was tough because we had no, not even one day of testing. So we've been racing only, uh, yeah, and develop, yeah, trying to develop my setup and find the, the, how uh, to ride this bike only on a race week. So this year is finally, yeah, the first year in a long time. We had a good winter test, trying some parts, and I had, I've been able to, to put a lot of laps during all the winter, learning the bike, and trying finally after a long, long time to improve my riding, because when you never test, it's hard to to, to improve. So, yeah, it's uh, yeah, I feel like I've uh, uh, after a few years, I have everything... Um, with me and I can finally uh, fight for, for podiums and win. And we saw that in, in Philip Island. So it was, uh, it was cool being back uh, leading a race after a long time. Fabio, you must have thought that uh, Loris and the Yamaha was going to be a really strong competitive package this year in, in World Superbikes watching from a distance. Well, I, I, I watched the, the race in Philip Island. I was more nervous than when I'm <laughs> racing, you know was amazing race honestly i never expect first from from loris because fuck he did something incredible uh i think uh, yeah i jump off of my sofa when in in the turn three he was on the on the on the grass breaking and i thought for sure he will go straight <laughs> and finally he turned he managed to to do it he did two times so yeah, yeah, really looking forward to see him in the in the next races. I know he's he's working hard. He will. I know he he has a lot of talent, and uh, for sure he he will come back and fight for for podiums and victory. There is no reason. <laughs>